Okay, hey Prepper Peeps, this is Tish from the Sea Salt and Pepper channel. I want you to know I'm doing this under duress. Um, my camera is broken. Normally a camera will put 10 pounds or so on you. Mine puts 20 pounds on you and makes you look like your mother. So I would rather still be using my phone, but um, Lisa is making me do this. First and foremost, there's a few people that I'd like to thank on YouTube for inspiring me to get my little tuchus going. Um, I've been prepping for a while, but only half-heartedly, and I've recently swung it into full gear with Lisa. But the people that have inspired me is um, the Yankee Marshal, and I want to thank him for showing me that I can still be a liberal and, and a constitutionalist at the same time, and for letting me know that you know, those tinfoil hats are still very fashionable. And for Mr. Colion Noir, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, for his arguments for the Second Amendment, while he's very, very sardonic, he's spot on with every point that he makes. If I had another daughter, there'd probably a shotgun, there'd probably be a shotgun wedding at my house, because, yeah, although I'd clearly be um, underarmed. And I also love his pistol, reviews and thanks to him I am the owner of my lovely M&P shield yes don't be hating bitches um, also to Bear Prepper Obi-Wan Kenobi for inspiring me to do just about everything that I'm doing now um, for teaching me about canning and gardening and I'm actually looking at a house right now with a couple acres so that I can start homesteading um, and for also making me choke on a piece of pie while I was watching your um, cannibalism video during Halloween. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, Catch Cradle for teaching me not to have such tunnel vision when it comes to prepping and I thought that I was pretty knowledgeable about domestic news and international news but she's got it over me and um, I've constantly found things on her channel that I wasn't aware of and also thank you for turning me on to suspicious observers because I don't leave home without him anymore. Um, oh and the TED Talks. Oh my god the TED Talks. They're a new addic addiction for me so um, Oh, and your mayonnaise video, thanks for that, because I'm pretty sure that's why my ass is bigger. But, love it. And to um, 255 Sage, Linda's Pantry, your meals in a jar keep me up at night. I'm always thinking, hey, more jars, I need more jars. I gotta dehydrate more food. Uh, I need more recipes and more storage. And you've made me into a prepper zombie, so thanks for that. And uh, yeah, and your minced garlic video the other day, jumped off the couch and minced the other half of bag of garlic that I had from um, BJ's or someplace. Yeah, put it in oil, put it in jars, so thanks for saving me half a bag of garlic. And for Cheap Geek, he's the guy that turned us on to the body wash recipe. He's the one that likes peanut butter. Cheap Geek won. He's pretty cool. And he also has this um, scone recipe that you have to check out. I'm pretty sure that's going to be another problem with my butt or, you know, make me insulin dependent, one or the other. And to Lisa, my partner in crime, um, who taught me how to pressure can, who makes me laugh and listens to all my bullshit, uh, thank you, you're like a sister, and I love you lots. Okay, done with that. So today, um, I told Lisa I was going to do um, food finds and shoutouts. So I've done my shoutouts. My finds, my thrift shop finds for yesterday for prepping is um, all of these votive candles. They were 50 cents and of course I used my vacuum sealer because you can't be a prepper without your vacuum sealer. I got this old timey juice jar because when I was canning my grapefruit the other day I had a ton of grapefruit juice left over and that's good for you. Hmm. And I'm really kind of done with drinking out of plastic. Mason jar, 10 cents found these little spoons, measuring spoons, plastic, can't have too many of those, I'm going through these like nobody's business. Found a canning funnel, it was 25 cents, love it. These don't really have anything to do with um, prepping, but it was two dollars for both of them and they look brand new. So yeah, I'm going to seriously start on some of those bread recipes. Two metal water bottles because as I said trying to get plastic out of my um, diet my water got some books 
I got this because of Lynn's Pantry. This is still covered in plastic. It's brand new. I think it was uh, it was two dollars at the thrift store. Thrift store. This photo is going to come out and it's going to be meals in a jar. Inside will be index cards with all the meal in jar recipes. Probably with little stickies that say, you know, beef, pork, chicken, soups, desserts, or maybe one that says a meal in a jar plus a jar, you know, a jar that you have to add a jar of meat to. I don't know. I haven't decided. But yes, there's that. And also I got this really nice um, cast iron skillet. It's really, really old. You can tell it's really old because it says Ikea on the back. Uh, probably not so old. And here's the stuff that I canned the other day. It's my head of cabbage, my little cherry tomatoes, all of my grapefruits, all of my limes. I go through limes a lot. I put them in my soft drinks and all of my potatoes. So, um, that's my video for today. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe, like, and do all that other stuff that you guys say at the end of your videos that I don't even know what means, but, yeah, so, let's see if this works out. I don't have a fancy camera like Lisa, so I'm just going to reach over and turn it off.